Carnegie Mellon University computer science professor Randy Pausch and retired Brandeis University sociology professor Maury Schwartz faced the end of their lives. They chose to live the remainder of their lives to the fullest. A magic beam of light, I need a miracle to get you back here tonight. I'll make you laugh, we're shooting stars overhead, sharing the dreams that wake you up when you're sad. I'm tightly holding your hands. You're everything that I Doctors told me three to six months of good health left. Uh, that was a month ago, so you can do the math. Um, I have some of the best doctors in the world. Uh, so that is what it is. We can't change it, and we just have to decide how we're going to respond to that. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. Boris Schwartz, a retired sociology professor at Brandeis University, also shared many ideas about living his life to the fullest, and especially making the best of a dying. So one day, he sat across from a Boston neurologist who said to him, Maury, I have some bad news. You have Lou Gehrig's disease. Maury thought back to his youth. He'd grown up in New York. Lou Gehrig's disease, he said. That's fatal. And so on the steps of that building, my old teacher made a very profound decision. He could either go this way and be angry all the rest of his days, or he could go this way and try to find something positive in this terribly negative hand that he had been dealt. And like our guest of honor tonight, he chose. And he decided he would teach about what it was like to die. Both of these men had many valuable pieces of knowledge to offer the world. Living life to the fullest was stressed by both. Randy told about achieving your dreams, while Maury explained how not to be scared or embarrassed of death. First, talk about it. Don't hide in the corner. Don't try to conceal it as if it's something horrible. Because all it does is destroy your self-esteem. It's very important to keep that self-esteem. Two, accept it. This is you. You are a disabled person. I am a, I'm not ashamed of that. All right, let's talk about football. My dream was to play in the National Football League. I probably got more from that dream and not accomplishing it than I got from any of the ones that I did accomplish. He never complained. All he talked about was what he was learning, how new doors were opening up to him, how people were treating him and things he was discovering about life. You better decide early on if you're a Tigger or an Eeyore. <laughs> Tiggers are energetic, they're optimistic, they're curious, they're enthusiastic, and they have fun. And never, ever underestimate the importance of having fun. I am dying soon, and I am choosing to have fun today, tomorrow, and every other day I have left. Keep an open heart and open it up further and further and further until you encompass as much as you can with your love. It sounds kind of soppy, but it's not. It's not. It's not about how to achieve your dreams. It's about how to lead your life. If you lead your life the right way, the karma will take care of itself. The dreams will come to you. But the truth of the matter is that I didn't even really give it to the 400 people at Carnegie Mellon who came. I only wrote this lecture for three people. And when they're older, they'll watch it. Thank you.